What's going on, everybody? Soliaka here, and I've got a lot of shout outs to give. Um, all these people donated into the PayPal, uh, and uh, I've got a. I'm gonna get a little more personal because there were so many of them, but um, I'm gonna give them a quick shout out. Uh, we've got Broadtella, L Broadtella LLC. We got A Plus, A Plus IT Solutions LLC. We've got Paul Scarupa, Scarupa. We've got DC Act accuracy he's a he's another youtuber that i'm subscribed to so go to dc accuracy um and subscribe to his channel as well we've got alexander fuentes we've got jorge e i'm gonna put up his name on the screen so you can see jorge thank you we got jordan lewis we got tim riley tim you should be receiving an email from me uh probably today or tomorrow uh, Mark from West Virginia, thank you so much. Nona Dachenko, Dachenko, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that was everybody that donated into the PayPal. I can't say thank you enough. Um, you will start to see some of the things that um, that I have been using it for, uh, the money for. Um, uh, some of its lighting you'll see better lighting on some of my live streams and some of the stuff I do out on my uh, my little makeshift uh, studio out there um, It was more you'll see you, you'll see in the clarity and a lot of the um, a Lot of those things so I can't say thank you enough to all of you I will make a more personal YouTube video about all the people of the that have donated so uh, just stay tuned for that. But I do want to give you guys a shout out. Guys and girls, thank you so much for what you do. And I'll keep making up that content. I got some stuff planned for next week. So just stay tuned. What's going on, buddy? Soli Ecker here, the Arb Fisherman. And I was uh, tagged in a challenge for if I only had one gun. And uh, G23, his channel name is G23. His link will be in the description below. And uh, if he kind of... He, just basically if you had one gun what gun would that be and there's a lot of factors that go into it and it's not just about you know we all want to have you know I, I always try to carry at least two um, but you know it all depends on your situation you know if you're military police or whatever there's a whole different you know there's a whole different outlook and they're probably gonna choose more of a rifle setup or you know, depending on that one gun, but most often not depending on what your situation is, you may have to choose a rifle. You know, and if you're just an everyday carry, you're, you know, you never know what's going to happen, but you're, you know, most of your life you go through and everything goes as according to plan. You just make sure you always have protection. Maybe a pistol's all you need. Or maybe you're, you know, you're a backpacker or you're, you know, there's a lot of factors, you know, I'm not going to try to go into them. That'll be like a 30 minute video, but, um, there's a lot of factors and you got to figure out what, what is best for you. And for me, it's pretty much everyday carry. Um, and I'm going to explain the two differences and why I'm going to choose the one I choose. We've got my Glock 23. Um, Uh, this is my everyday carry. Um, this is the first handgun I ever bought, and it's I've got other ones, but this is the first one I ever bought, and I love it. I love it to death. Wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. You know, it's got decent round capacity. Um, I carry a T-Rex Arms uh, sidecar. You know, extra mag. I carry appendix. You know, and you you never really notice this ever. Um, this is my everyday carry. And then over here, we've got my everyday carry when I have my backpack. All right. This is my everyday carry in my backpack. I carry this with me, um, not all the time. It's usually when I'm going on long trips or things of that nature. You know, I can fold this thing down. It gets to about 18 inches. Um, love this thing. Um, the only difference between the two right now, and you know, you would think I would want to choose this. I, I love carrying this. I love shooting it. I love everything about it. But the only problem with this is here in Florida, we're not an open carry state. If we were open carry, 
I'd be carrying this thing everywhere, anywhere, every day. Um, me personally, I'm gonna choose my handgun over this only because I have to dig through, I don't have to dig through a backpack, but I have to, if I'm being attacked, which one is gonna be quicker for me to deploy or to draw? Um, this, is, I've, I haven't timed it yet, but I'm guessing it's in the seven seconds for me to take the backpack off, rip open the top, pull out, and then, then fold it. So it's uh, right around, I, I want to say seven to 10 seconds. Um, working on getting better. I, I just, you know, practice, 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 practice. But me personally, I'm choosing my, uh, my Glock day in and day out. Um, not to take away from this Bear Creek Arsenal upper, not, not to take anything away from it, but I'm probably going to choose my handgun only because I've actually timed it and I can draw, I can draw pretty much and get two shots on target in just over, I think it's about 1.4, 1.3 seconds, right around that, right around that time. So, and that, as I get to draw, most of the ranges I go to, I'm not allowed to draw, so... You know, it's just about getting out. I do a lot of dry firing in the house. That's how I've gotten from, I was in like the four second and now I'm in the, you know, second and a half range. So practice, practice, practice. Um, but other than that, you know, everybody's gonna be different. But for me personally, I'm gonna pick up my pistol just like I do every day. First thing, it's probably one of the very first things I put on. And then I go about my day, you know, it's different when I go out and I'm like, like I said, if I go camping or if I go out in the wilderness or whatever, I always have this with me because this is going to be my first thing I reach for. If I was in an open carry state, this would be the first thing I would carry because I could carry it and I wouldn't have a concern, but it's just the way it is. That's why I'm choosing my Glock. So we're going to finish this up. I've got a couple people I want to challenge. Um, I challenge you guys to the one firearm challenge. What one firearm would you always, the one firearm you want, the only firearm you would ever carry ever again. So um, I challenge, uh, you know, uh, Hickok 45, Colion Noir, and Autumn's Armory, the family of Autumn's Armory. I challenge all of you to this challenge, and it'd be interesting to see if um, what you would choose as the, that one firearm. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. Solo Yacker. Deuces.